Dames at sea. <laughs> tap, tap. Patty and Emily thoughts and comedy from Broadway super fans. From Broadway super fans. Um, the only thing I knew about Dames at Sea before this that I was like sailors and something. Mm -hmm. I heard it at Peter's. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know that I knew that much, although it makes sense. I mean, I liked this show. I thought it was fun. Yeah. I thought it was, it was delightful. I think... It's cute. I think I maybe had, like, if you put the word satire in my mm -hmm. head, I think I, I have an expectation of yeah. something that wasn't what this was, mm -hmm. which was my own brain messing with me. Um, but sure. It was fun. Well, and, I, you know, it's not really fair to compare shows to other shows, but I sort of had, like, the drowsy chaperone in my head because mm -hmm. it's a similar, it's making fun of a similar musical, type of musical from a similar era, and I feel like, um, I feel like the drowsy chaperone owes a lot to Dames at Sea Absolutely. because it came first, Absolutely. and so it took what Dames at Sea made and then just made it a little yeah, I com think... more comedic. I'm not going to say better mm -hmm. because yeah, it yeah, went yeah. straight it went for straight comedy in, right. in The Drowsy Chaperone, and this was more broad. Yeah, I think I was maybe expecting more of, like, a critical eye mm. in my satire, that I was <laughs> expecting them to call out the ridiculous tropes a little bit more, but, like, whatever. Right. Like, just and it's, deal yeah. with it. Yeah. Just, but it was still fun, and... Yeah, it was hilarious. And fucking just tapping for days. Oh just God. tapping for days and days and days. It was I so awesome. So like, much ooh. tapping. I love tap. <laughs> and there was so much tap and it was also wonderful. And also like beautiful classic musical theater dancing too. Yeah. There was some of that too. Like a, a nice pas de deux. <laughs> it's just sort of like a fun little fucking romp. Yeah. And if you know the tropes, mm -hmm. then, you know, you see it and it's funny and it's great. This is a show sort of like Something Rotten where people who love musicals mm -hmm. can go see it and enjoy it and people who hate musicals can go see it and enjoy it. Well, because, I wouldn't say hate. All right, maybe not hate. Like, if you hate musicals, then you'll hate it because yeah. you're a horrible monster. Yes. But... Uh, who, like, aren't so keen on musicals, because it does poke fun of, of the tropes of musical theater. Yeah, yeah. You're like, that's, I hate when that happens. Yeah, right, 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 yeah, that yeah, ingenue yeah. moment. Yeah. You know, and then everybody's like, I love when that happens. Right. That's an ingenue moment, and it works at, at both ends. Yeah, totally. So there's, like, a, I know, I know the people that I would recommend this show to. I think the thing about this show, the, the word that st sticks out to me to describe it is entertaining. Mm. It was extremely yeah, entertaining. Absolutely. It was fun to watch mm -hmm. and enjoyable mm -hmm. and like tap dancing. <laughs> Did you know that there's tap dancing in this? There could have been more like quick changes. Oh, just well, seems like I, I love quick changes yeah. and quick changes seem like mm -hmm. they would, you know. Yeah, like a change. double quick change or, double, double quick or something. Change. Just one of yeah, more quick changes. Yeah. Also, I think it was, I liked what the show does with only six characters. Oh, absolutely. It's pretty amazing. Well, seven characters. Seven characters, six, six characters. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, it still felt big. Yeah. And especially because it's in the Helen Hayes, which is like the perfect Broadway house for it. Such a, it was my first time, I know, and I yay. loved it. It's, it's a nice little theater. I like it a lot. It's cute. John Bolton. Oh, he's fucking wonderful. He's the best. Oh my god, he's so funny. And I love like yeah. I love the humor that's that's in the show about that actor playing the two characters. Oh yeah, like, that's what they're I was like. Where's that other guy? Yeah, because like that's fucking hilarious, sure. and that's also like something that happens yeah. in the theater. And then they all look at John Bolton, and he's like. Join the Navy. So, so and I like seeing him do some dancing. Yeah. Out there tapping. I love it. I oh. love seeing people with non-traditional dancer bodies mm -hmm. dancing because he's like really lanky. Yeah. Oh, um, but like still is a great yeah, dancer. Absolutely. And, like, do, oh, great, 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 great. He's, great. he's so funny. He's yeah. got great faces. And like he is a. Well, for musical theater, anyway, a, a character actor. Yeah. We also got to sing some really beautiful lines. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I really got to show off all the things he can do, like dancing yeah. and, and beautiful singing. Also. Quick changes. Funny singing and quick changes. Ugh, John Bolton. Mara Davy. She's 
was great. She was great. She was like a good like 40s, you know, chorus yeah. girl. Listen up, ladies. I immediately like, wanted her to play Reno in oh, Anything yeah. Goes. Mm -hmm. She was like that perfect, you know, character and the way she played it of like the chorus girl who's wise to all the stuff. <laughs> yeah, you know and she'll I mean? teach you. She'll show you what's up. Yeah. You know, little girl who just got off the, the bus. Yeah. She knows all the back alleys to Broadway and where all the hip <laughs> spots are to hang out after yeah. hours. Like, she just yeah. had it. She yeah. embodied it. Yeah. She had legs for oh days. Oh my god. I mean, she was aside from, so good in those shorts. Yeah. Aside from being a r relatively tall actress, right. which there are a few of, uh, yeah, she had these like high waisted shorts. So and amazing. so she was just like, Gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. And also voice. Yeah. Again, like not having oh. known any of these songs, it was so nice to hear them sung by these amazing people. Gardner. Danny Gardner. His Broadway debut. Aw, congratulations. Yeah. That was exciting. He was fun. Yeah. He <laughs> was like, I liked his character because it wasn't it wasn't quite like the horn dog character that like Clive Alves was in On the Town, mm -hmm. but it was like a similar trope. It just yeah. didn't quite, which is nice because I, I don't really right. yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to do right. Yeah. Um, but he had he and Mara were really fun together, and they had a really weird song that I enjoyed. Yeah, I would have seen the two of them mm -hmm. in On the Town. Oh, as that pairing. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You said that too. It was yeah. in a stand. I would totally All see the Mara could. Yeah. Would play the Elizabeth uh -huh. Stanley track in that. I don't know what Absolutely. these characters' names are, man. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what Elizabeth Stanley's character was. Claire? <laughs> Eloise Crow! Oh my god! Our fave ensemblist! Yes, from, from On the Town! Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> She's perfect. I was so excited when I <laughs> saw that she was cast in this because I loved her so much mm -hmm. in the ensemble. Of on the town, she was so fucking great to watch, and like the, obviously the stereotype of an ingenue is perfect right? for her. And those damn girl, that girl tap! Oh my god, that girl can tap! Oh my god, she can tap! Like the tapping in the show is incredibly impressive. It's so impressive, so fast, so and fast. You're like, pick up the tempo, pick and up the tempo. Keep even going. though it's like super impressive when you have like a. Uh, a line of 40 chorus people all tap dancing to like anything goes the six people made them able to like make it more precise because yes. you could have those six people do anything together right. and also I think it's I mean obviously when you're watching tap it's the best part is that they're all in rhythm mm -hmm. and they're all doing it at the same time but having six people, it's like you're watching those people more right. closely. Absolutely. And just taps. More tap. More tap for everybody all the time. Every show should have ten tap songs. Yeah, in it. Hamilton. Yeah. Where's your tap Nobody number? ever said you were perfect. <laughs> Carrie Tedder. I love Carrie Tedder. love Carrie Tedder. I love Carrie Tedder, too. We've seen him in He's so many things. Memphis. I feel He's like we have been watching him I know. for a long time and enjoying his ensembleist work, and now uh -huh. we're seeing him in the big time. I'm a really excited to be at this stage of our living in New York and being theater goers, because now we are seeing those people it's who were in the ensemble for the past few years getting these yeah. featured and leading roles. Yeah. It's very exciting. It is very exciting. It's nice to be in New York long enough to start seeing them yes. and to be like, oh, oh, I saw that. Yes. I've seen them. We've seen them in the ensemble of probably at least I mean, half a dozen, shows. yeah, if not more shows. And now he's starring yeah. on Broadway. I know. And we love him. And he was great. Mean, he was great. Yeah, he had some great dancing. His first song was weird and funny, and he had that like wide eye, yeah. go get yeah. it energy, <laughs> like perfect. <laughs> It was great. Yeah, he was great. And he worked with Eloise really well, mm -hmm. and he worked with Leslie Margarita yeah. really well. It's great. So great. Yeah. Leslie Margarita! Margarita! I mean, there are times when shows and roles and actors happen, and you're like, I know this was written a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure it was written for you. Yes! Because nobody will play it the way you right. play it, and you played it perfectly. Because uh, that's how I felt about this. I was like, I'm sorry, did they write this for her? Yeah, because I know. Because it's... Perfect for her. She had the best handle on it. I think Ugh. for me personally, what I was looking for in the show, I got from Leslie and I wasn't getting from everyone else for whatever 
reason inside my dumb head. But like she was playing it to the level that I was like, ah, every <laughs> she could move her pinky and I like Ugh. cracked up. Yeah. Every single she... thing she did was so fun ah. and perfect. Yeah. 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 There is a moment in the show, no spoilers, but she walks across the stage with a prop. I won't say what. And <laughs> it like brings the house down. It brings the house down. Like, because it's just so perfect. It's perfect. It's, it's so good perfect. writing. It's yeah. It's it's a perfectly timed comedic mm -hmm. moment, and the way she did it was mm -hmm. flawless. Yeah, and it was so Ugh. fucking hilarious. Yeah, that was the best gag in the entire show. And like, you know, we know she can dance because we saw Matilda, but just tapping up there, and I mean, she opens the show with the tap oh, dance yeah. number. That's yeah. phenomenal. Fucking great. Ugh. And she's wearing like that awesome she costume. costumes are really great too. She was costumed super she well. She was costumed so well. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Especially because these smaller shows in a smaller house usually have a smaller budget. Yeah. And I thought everybody's costumes yeah. looked really great. I agree. Yeah. They were good. Yeah. There's a racist song in this show. That's what I was going to say. We do need to talk about Singapore Sue. You know, I also thought that the. I forget the Spanish overtones of that other song I thought were a little bit. Well, see, dicey. and that's what I think is interesting. A, like, doing a flamenco dance if you're not right. Spanish when the Spaniards were a world power for hundreds and uh -huh. hundreds of years and aren't Hispanic. They're still right. a rich European country. Right. It's sort of like... And, like, I'm not saying yes or no either way. I, I was just thinking about it from that angle and wondering where where that line may or may not be. Because I get right. what you're saying, and if it were somebody doing a Mexican hat dance, I would say, yes, this is offensive. Right. But somebody doing a flamenco, I, I, I don't know why, but that's not my first I didn't reaction. think it was, like, super horribly problematic. Right. Like, oh, my God, it needed to be cut, which is what I felt about Singapore Sioux. Mm -hmm. For many reasons. But, like, the thing that's tough yeah. is that you're satirizing a very specific experience and time period where, mm -hmm. yeah, like, the shows that you're satirizing have these incredibly racist right. things in it, and that's part of what you want to satirize. But in order to do it, you gotta do it. Yeah. You gotta satirize it, and you gotta be like, look at this fucked up crazy shit yeah. that we used to think was yeah. okay. Well, and that's what, going back to, again, hate to compare, Drowsy. but Drowsy did with Message from a Nightingale, and also with Adolfo, because right. it was the same thing. It's like this crazy Spanish character right. Right. who's, like, not played by a Spanish person, yeah. and the act two opens on the wrong album, but right. it's like a Mikado type show that he quickly is like, nope. Yeah, and 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 you're actively calling out the offensiveness of yeah. it. And I felt like, listen, like I've glanced at lyrics of what Singapore Sue used to be yeah. lyrically, and like honestly, listen, everybody, sometimes shit just needs to be cut. Like yeah. sometimes you just need to say, you know what, this is never gonna fucking work, and we should just get rid of it and not do it. But like. I don't know, it just need the, the satire, the satire needs to be sharper, it right. needs to be critical, right. you need to actually call out what's happening instead of just throw up a production number. And be like, isn't it crazy that these things used to happen? Right. That's basically all it's saying, but without actually pointing out why it's crazy or awful. Right, and because expecting, shit like this still well, fucking happens. I was say. So you can't just throw it up and be like, whoa, crazy, because people, their half of your audience are not going right. to see why it's funny they're because they're not going to see what's the wrong audience to know, right. and they don't know, you have to tell them. Yeah. And you can tell them in a way that is smart and funny and hilarious and clever and that will also not alienate the people who do know. Right. And right. those people will be like, yes. Yes. And the people who are learning something will be like, oh. Brady Skinner's like, oh, we edited it and yeah. you're totally you gonna get it now. And it's like you took out words. like Right, you took out like the really, really horribly offensive words. It's no less offensive, and I think it's just offensive in a different way. Where it's like when you had the original song with the original lyrics where it was like, I love my oriental little flower and like the most racist fucking shit you mm. could possibly think of, like that's horrifying, but that's more 
true to what yes, was real. That's true. And this is like, oh, we're gonna lessen it so it's not that bad. But and so then it just doesn't look that bad. Ineffective. At completely ineffective. It's not funny. Satirizing it's not anything. Satirizing. It's just like. Well, I think the other issue with it is that you could take all of that out. You could take out any reference to Singapore. You could take out all the clothes that they were wearing, put it anywhere else in the world, and it's still a comedy song about selling someone into sex slavery. Yeah. Also, Which, I didn't understand the part about the song where she was like, never mind, I think I love this guy. I'm not going to be sold into well, sex slavery. Yeah. Girl, you were already sold into sex slavery or sex slave. Flawed logic there. I mean, just cut that story. fucking song. It doesn't have cut to Cut that either. song. It shouldn't be anywhere. It should never be done <laughs> on stage. It's bad. It's not good. Get rid of it. From Broadway Superfans. Go see Dames at Sea. Go see Dames at Sea for all the lovely tap dancing. Mm.